Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today in this video, I'm going to explain how you can use dynamic tags for your Elementor Pro website. So if you're planning to create a template that the content pulls from your database, right? So that will make more um, dynamic and custom the page or the information that you display in your website. So please follow me i'll show you what i'm talking about in here so if you go to the elementor pro panel right and then you drag like for instance the heading you will see that here is a button it says dynamic tags so this with these dynamic tags you can pull information from the actual post for instance you can put this uh, date the id the terms time title that is from this post in case there is a post but you can go through the archive through the site and then in here you can display what information for instance page title so it will be the the name of this page right or the title of this page the user information imagine that you are in a account page and then you want to display the account user um, name right so for that you will need to click on that user information choose this field in that case that's going to put the first name right and also you can add an advance here you can add text before and after so imagine before you're going to put like welcome 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 uh, and after you want to do an exclamation mark right don't forget to space because otherwise it's not going to be there so it will be here welcome uh, emilio exclamation mark so as you can see here it pulls information from you data right so that will make more the site more dynamic as you can see you can go through uh, through all these dynamic stacks in here and it's plenty of information even you can pull information from your woocommerce in terms of like if you want to pull product price sales content and stock whatever you want to pull right so this is it will help you a lot in order to create a dynamic page uh, with elementor pro Okay, in that case, is pretty cool feature. I really like that and it's very handy. So that's it for that. After that, you can also go now, right? And then in here, you can customize with the style as it was before. Let me put that in here. Go content, don't forget to go and advance a space and you can now edit the style as you wish in here, all right? so. Uh, thank you for watching please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video